Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody. We meet again. Some of us meet again. Uh, I am going to continue. We're going to talk about Wally. We're going to talk about tea and therapy. We're going to talk about Christopher Boozy. We're going to talk about quite a lot of things because I do not lie. Okay, let's get that straight. I know most of you know that, but apparently some people don't. So we're going to begin with tea and therapy. This lady who I have never, never publicly named in any of my videos or on Twitter. I have never said M's. I have never said tea and therapy before this video she did yesterday. Let's get that straight. Oh, and trolls, if I have, link to the video, screenshot it, put it up there. Now, I'm not talking about anything Wally might have said about her or my husband might have said about her or Trevor, or Duchess of Narsussex, or Sue Smith, or anybody, right? I am not those people's mother. I am responsible for my own actions and my own free speech. So I want to see specifically trolls, specifically where I have named M's from Tea and Therapy. Hmm? Or her son, which I, again, I have never done. Whereas my family and my children, yeah, they've been dragged through the mud, named their places of work have been posted. I've never actually seen that with her. Well, maybe it has happened. I don't know. Right. So let's begin. She did a video where actually she said a lot of sensible things like you shouldn't accuse people of things without evidence. She also said, I'm not going to name anybody, blah, blah, blah. She then went on to post this comment, which I'm going to ask Graham to edit there. And yes, you can check. This is her logo. I, I checked. This was actually her who posted this. Not a sugar. Not, not some shit stirrer. Right? She posted this yesterday several times in her comments. Because a lot of you have posted, which really irritated me. I'm sorry it did. You say, she didn't name me in the video. No, she didn't name me in the video. And I already said that. She named me in the comments. So let's go through her comment first. She said, hi, lovely. It's not just sugars. It's Yankee Wally who put out a horrendous video accusing me of nearly killing, according to Taz, calling me a fake therapist, dot, dot. Now, avid gardener and someone called Gertie Road is doing it too. They've been tweeting about me too, as I've been sent screenshots where Taz is carrying out this carrying this on from when she started this three years ago it's been going on for three years and i've only i've lost over five thousand subscribers because of it right let's go through that shall we i am not going to speak on behalf of any other youtuber because i am not responsible i repeat wally is my best friend actually apart from graham obviously graham's my best friend but second to graham a very close second is wally and Wally is a grown woman and Wally has a very critically thinking mind. Uh, and but I, I don't control what Wally says. Now, the irony of this is her naming me that, yes, what, things are said in private. A lot of things that we keep offline. And oddly enough, whoever it's regarding, I'm always the one that says, no, I need hard evidence. So I agree with M's there. I need to see hard evidence. I need that, uh, let's put it this way, Cuban Missile Crisis smoking gun before I will name someone and say categorically that this is a fact. I do not go out there willy-nilly saying things, regardless of what the trolls say. That's why a certain other person who, oh yeah, by the way, still haven't received a defamation letter from them. That's why when they said, I speak to Atalanta offline, they speak the truth and justice, they associated themselves with the biggest troll account ever. They also uploaded their version of a video of mine onto, uh, they uploaded it on their channel. I put copyright strikes and it was taken down and within two hours it was uploaded on the troll account. So I agree with them. You don't put things out there. And so I'm normally the one behind the scenes saying to everybody, calm down. I'm not sure about this. We have to see it from their point of view. Oh, the irony. So why did she decide to name me? I do understand she's deleted the comments now, but I'm sorry. No, it's out there. And loads of people calling me a liar in the comments. And uh, uh, actually anyone who unsubscribes and, and thinks that it's cool what she did, go. Just go. 
and do not come back when you find out, oh, whoopsie doodle, don't come back. So there were a sequence of events and there was something I wasn't going to mention. Um, Christopher Boozy tweeted about me. Let's, let's put that up there, if Graham can. He tweeted about me the day before yesterday. Uh, and then Ems did her video accusing me and then Wally's channel went down. Now, I'm not saying that these things have any connection to each other. What I am pointing out as a fact is that that sequence of events actually happened. Uh, I do not appreciate being named like this and accused of something I have not done. I have not done this. Yes, she's deleted the comments now. I suppose now, so pretend it never happened. And I see a lot of you in the comments going, are you sure it's not sugars uh, stirring? Well, that question I cannot answer because there is so much information in the background that I cannot say because police are involved. Right, let's talk about Wally. Wally is not going to be silenced. Wally is back on YouTube. I'm not going to show you which is her YouTube channel yet because I haven't spoken to her today. She's uploaded a video and she's, if they take that down, she's going to upload again. And if they take that down, she's going to start a new one and she will not be silenced. Interesting that as soon as Christopher Boozy tweets about me and he's never tweeted about me before, her channel goes down, isn't it? I, I'm not Trevor's mother. I, I'm not any of their mothers. They have their free speech to say and do what they want. They are all excellent YouTubers. They're critical thinkers. This, this M's thing, this is a bolt out of the blue for me. And yes, this has started something. And I see a lot of you saying, I don't like seeing my favourite YouTubers bickering. I've never been in touch with her before. I have reached out to her two and a half weeks ago by email to ask her something. She never replied. I tried to contact her yesterday. She has not replied. So all this talk on her video, I wish people would reach out to me in private because then I'll explain everything. Well, not for me. And yet she's happy to put that in her comments. Um, I'd also like you all to know, because there, there are lots of events going on in the background, that I'm now doing a series of video diaries which are held private because something really dramatic has happened recently. And when we are allowed to tell everybody, I want to be able to release these private videos so you can see and hear what was going on behind the scenes and that I won't forget any details about what I was thinking at a particular moment in time. Now, I've discovered this in, uh, has become very useful because uh, last year when we found out about Graham's diagnosis, I did, well, Graham and I both did secret cancer vlogs and we were talking about various things on YouTube as well. And it was thanks to a couple of those videos that I was, they were, they'd never been public, that I was able to share with Sussex Police so they could see the lies that people had been telling about what I was saying and doing last year. And they were like, OK, I can see you were deep in that. And this was your opinion. And that was thought. And thank God I did it. And I'd, I'd urge other YouTubers to do that, do secret videos ready for a future occasion. Because I think sometimes YouTubers rely on the fact that an audience may just blindly believe them. Um, you know me. I'll go live. I'll call them up. Come on up, up on a live. Let's discuss it. Let's get the screenshots out. Let's do the calling out. Let's provide evidence, not receipts, evidence. I am not amused by what happened yesterday with Emma from Tea and Therapy. I would hope she will do some sort of clarification or some sort of video, but I seriously doubt it. And for the record, I personally have not seen Taz mention her name in all these years. As far as I'm aware, and I'm not in touch with Taz, I very much get the impression she doesn't want to talk about it. It's history. It's gone. It's finished. It's done. But she was named in those comments yesterday, along with other YouTubers. And as I say, I can't speak for them. But isn't it interesting? <sighs> right, what else do I need to cover? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on uh, Wally's channel going down, Christopher Boozy tweeting about me, and then that yesterday. Um, I don't care if someone's got qualifications or not because well, it's just not my bag. I'm not interested in that. I know a lot of people are interested if somebody were to go on YouTube, you know, if I were to go on YouTube and claim I'm a lawyer when I'm not. But I, I, apart from that, I'm not interested. What I am interested in, because I am from Sussex, 
is I know that the drive from Eastbourne to Bexhill is a very, very short drive. That's what I do know. And I will not go further than that. Um, I wish I could tell you. We are all bursting to tell you stuff and we just can't. I'm sorry because of the police. I do also find it interesting that the royal family have announced that they're cancelling engagements in light of the general election. Now, I don't know if they normally cancel engagements, but in all my life, I don't recall them making an announcement of, to that effect. So I don't know. Um, thoughts, opinions in the comments. Uh, but if one person says, Emma didn't mention you, you know, I'm probably going to delete your comment because I, I was sick and tired of reading those type of comments over and over and over again. She did it in her comments on her channel, on her video, where she said she would not name anybody. And for the record, I've never asked anybody to like, subscribe. Subscriber numbers for me is irrelevant. As long as there's at least one person out there listening to me, that is what counts. And I am in this to the bitter end and I am going to track down and I'm not talking about tea and therapy here, but I am going to track down the connection between trolls and a certain infamous couple. And I will not stop. I will not stop. Thank you very much for listening.